I think he's going bananas. What's wrong with him? I don't know. So getting the build up to a Warmer 3, I don't know about you, but I've just been feeling down. I don't know why. I think it's because I know I'm about to be really busy, you know? Like, I, I know that in the next couple of months, I'm going to be making all the guides. It's going to be one per week, and it's going to be boom, 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 boom. And if Warmer 3 is doing well, that's going to be good. But that's also mean I'm going to be incredibly busy. And you know what really gets me up when I'm feeling down? Not that. No, I'm talking about alcohol, folks. And it just so happens that some guy joined the, uh, the Discord called Bulbasaur Gelt, who's a bartender. And it, we got to talking and we thought, wouldn't it be cool if all the Warmer 3 Chaos dudes had their own drinks, slash the Warmer dudes in general, uh, but start with the Chaos because that's the easiest. And we agreed, or I forced him to, using my absolute huge game of clout. So today we're gonna to be trying to make the corn mezcalarita, I think he called it. It's, it's, it's like a margarita, but it's spicy and I'm gonna to need to cook and shit. And honestly, it's like quarter to four now and I've gotta go pick up a dog in, a, in an hour or so. So we're gonna to have to do this quick and I'm gonna to have to drink when I get back because uh, I need to drive. So uh, <laughs> let's get to the stove top, folks. Actually, before we do that, we should probably look at what we're doing. So the first thing we need to do is make this habanero orange simple syrup. Now, because I live in the UK, and you know, we had two hot days this year and I got sunburnt on one of them. Uh, we don't have blood oranges and we don't have habaneros, so I have one orange and some jalapeno, so that's gonna have to do. Today we're gonna be making some habanero orange simple syrup for a corn mezcalrita I am making. That'll be coming next. So what you want is- So to, oh, fucking American, fucking American measurements. Right, two cups of water, no, two cups of sugar, one cup of water, two oranges, I only have one orange. It's kind of a big orange. Will that work or should I do half? I'll do half. And then two habaneros come to quarters. I only have jalapeno, so I'll use one jalapeno and two oranges. What is a cup? Hey Siri, convert cup to gram. Grams and cups are not compatible. Hey Siri, convert a cup to milliliters. One cup is 236.5. Right, so it's about 240 milliliters. So I need, oh fucking hell. <laughs> All right, I need 240 sugar and 120 water. I should probably write this down somewhere. One sec. So for those of you playing along at home and don't use stupid American imperial measurements or whichever it is, we do use the mess, I don't fucking know. We use miles per hour in this country. So what the fuck are we talking about? Okay, we're almost as bad. And uh, looking at the political landscape lately, it is almost as bad. Anyway, digressing off that, so we need 240 uh, sugar and then 120 water. It's orange, wow. That's my attempt to write the word orange. Yikes, can you tell I never write anything down? One orange and one pepper. All right, cool. We have a recipe. Chuck in the sugar and water. Get it to dissolve. Don't touch your face or your genitals. Put it on high. And then add all your stuff before you add your sugar. All right, cool, we got this. Now it's gonna take me like 40 minutes to reframe because I've got, got two cameras in, two lights, and this, this is gonna be a real fucking project. Okay, I'll meet you at the stove in like seven hours. Later that same evening. So. This simple syrup, what was it? I need to get my recipe that I've left over here. I mean, I've left it in the bar. All right, let me, let me get all my shit. I'm gonna need this chopping board as well. The, um, it's absolutely not the main shot. So you're just gonna have to trust that I'm chopping chilies over here because this camera angle, it fucking sucks. All right, 120 water. Oh shit, this doesn't, all right. I'm gonna have to guesstimate this one, boys. 120 mils of water. I should probably turn this on, shouldn't I? So it's getting hot. Probably also move the paper away. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, milliliters don't really work with sugar, so we're just gonna have to kind of fill it up. I've got my jug. You're not gonna be able to see this. All right, you're kind of gonna be able to see this from the alternate angle. Oh, I'm gonna have to pour this and it's, mm, this is gonna make a fucking mess, isn't it? I feel like it's all gonna come at once. A few moments later. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, it all came at once. Oh, my fucking girlfriend's gonna, I have to literally just clean this kitchen as well. God damn it. It seems like an extremely large amount of sugar. All right, touch less than that, and then that'll probably do. All right, cool. Add in the sugar. Oh my God, that was a scary noise. All right, joke, you go over there. And I'll get the fucking hoover out, shall I? Right, put, put that on like not too hot heat because um, I'm gonna be a minute. Fuck me. I, could, I knew it was gonna happen as well. And I just did it anyway. I'm just that much of a goddamn idiot. Right? It's also about a thousand, like it's been, it's been hot. Like it's been 39 degrees the other day. And you know, for where I live, that is like, that is extreme temp. Okay, that was like, I was considering, I don't know, calling the police. It was so hot, it was unbelievable. And honestly, if you're an American, you come into the comments, or if you live in some hot country, you say, oh, we have 40 degree weather every week. I don't give a shit, okay? You have 40 degree weather every week, that probably means you have a way to deal with it, like AC or, I don't know, ritual sacrifice. Yeah, if you give me any bullshit saying, oh, well, we have that weather every week and we're fine. Yeah, you have it every week, fuck you. We don't, it was hot. It's still hot today, and I've got some, got some chicken in the slow cooker over there, and, yeah, it is sweaty in this kitchen right now. 
That's not doing anything. Fuck you, is it? Also realised, I ain't got anything to pull this in once it's done. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, let me just cover it uh, and also probably move it because uh, I need Hoover. <laughs> one sec. All right, that'll do. Thank you, Henry. Okay, let's put that back over here. Get it on high. Get my chopping board back. Let me get my other stuff. One orange and some peppers. Ugh, jalapenos if you're some sort of throaty bitch. I know it's not like a peel peel. I'm gonna call it like a swath or something. Right, so don't you wanna get like a real, like, real good bit? Also my monitor, my camera monitor is about to die, so that's good. Whoa, just nearly cut my finger off. Right. I mean, I literally, you didn't see it, it didn't go on the floor, right? I, I mean, I've literally just cleaned the floor. I think I'm making caramel. I mean, it smells good. It smells a little bit burnt, actually. <laughs> Let me just take the heat off for a moment. The original idea was to do four. And he kept saying, ah, oh, we'll just do one to start off with. And I agreed because I was like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's gonna be expensive. You know, I've had to buy an orange for this. And also all the alcohols and shit. And uh, now I'm just glad that I didn't do it because this is a lot of work. Right, that is peeled. And then I will I know, put that in the top where I need it later. I've literally just had lunch. I don't want an orange. <laughs> I've literally had lunch and it's like four in the afternoon. All right, gloves. Uh, I don't have thingy gloves, so I will use marigolds, okay? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. All right, let's use this. This big one. It smells like a pepper. Probably shouldn't have touched it to my face, but there you go. I'm assuming I take, do I take the stem off? That would make sense to me, and then just cut it in quarters, right? So, one, and then, whew, that, is, that smells hot. All right, and then I should probably turn the heat back on, bring it to a little boil. Probably should move the plastic. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that angle, let me, let me see if I can get it for you. <laughs> right, I can't. Let's touch this little bit of pepper. Look at that. It's all the seeds. I really couldn't see it, it was way out of focus. All right, let's, that's on a low heat. Let's do that and take this time to clean up. Uh, so yeah, as easy as that, we have our simple syrup that I've just spilled all over the hob that I've cleaned literally moments ago. Oh, the fucking reeds, it stinks. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. Is it meant to smell, like, it doesn't smell burnt, it just smells like peppers, I suppose. Which is, you know, it's, it's got peppers in it, it should. I don't know, that's some there. <laughs> just a little boil. All right, let's turn that off. I think we just have to let it cool, and then just, just put it in a bottle, and then we're ready for part two. I'm really worried I fucked this. Oh well, it'll be fine. It'll be even funny when I get horrific food poison and vomit. Can I stop putting my hand in this, please? My God. Right, so uh, I'll join you a little bit later when that's cooled off and uh, we'll make the final corn mezcalorita, which is where, where all the actual bartending takes place. Like, this is just some like fucking craft kitchen stuff. All right. <laughs> and I'll be with you right now. Fucking hell, what a mess. Do you hear that? It's Nelly the elephant. So here I am back in my bar, and uh, it's time to actually make the drink now with Paul the thing. I promise you, it's not the next day, all the dog isn't in the other room because it would not cause any chaos whatsoever. So, back to this. Uh, I actually need to pick How's it going, Warhammer fans? So I'm making Corrin's Bloody Mez Calrita today. Uh, the idea came from so one of salt. the YouTubers that I'm in Discord. His name's Colonel Damadiers. Colonel Damadiers? Colonel Damadiers? Guys, it's not that hard, okay? Colonel, you know, we all, we all know the word Colonel, that's fine. Damned us. Colonel damned us. It's not that hard, guys. Come on now. Right, so what are we doing? Let's go back to the start. We're from the salt onto the plate and then rubbing a lime. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna rub the lime juice on the uh, the outside of it and then roll the glass in it. One put, oh, fucking ounces. All right, I actually have a, hang on, one sec. Right, I have one of these. I think it's called a jigger. It, it has an ounce. I'm not sure which one, which one is the ounce? Does it have a indication on the top? Okay, after some very scientific measuring, I think the top one, is the, the full ounce and the bottom one's a half ounce, so that's useful. Let me collect my ingredients. I should probably done that before. Let me just... it smells alright actually. It smells it smells this is the mezcal. It smells alright. It smells kinda like a, it smells kinda like whiskey to be honest. In mezcal, got that. Orange liqueur, we've got Cointreau, we got that. Also I didn't buy the full mezcal because it was like 50 pounds a bottle. I bought this cheap one, which was still, you know, like 20 odd pounds a bottle, but you know, it's not 50. Uh, we need lime juice. Orange juice and the habanero simple syrup. 
Again, couldn't get blood oranges because, um, you know, we live in the UK. We have regular basic bitch orange juice. Sorry about that. I should probably open the contra as well. Give that a little whiff. It's orange infused. Ooh, that smells quite nice. Yeah, it smells good. All right, so this is tahine. This is just chili lime salt, I think. So we're gonna dump a little bit of this out into a plate. Oh shit. That kind of smells like dog food. <laughs> solid in the thing, I'm not gonna lie. In fact, it is almost entirely solid. I feel like that. Let's add some damp in it. And then we're gonna use the lime juice to wet our glass. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Ah, idea. How much is going in? Half an ounce of lime juice. So, if I pop half an ounce of lime juice in there, it smells like a lime. And I'm just gonna give myself a nice little rim on this glass, which is really hard to do with two ounces. So, oh shit, I need my phone on this third angle, whoops. Right, there we go. Now you can actually see what I'm doing. So we have this on the plate. I can't really see the phone, so I'm gonna assume that you can see that. We've got some salt spread around on the plate there. And I just need to get a little bit of this lime juice, which I popped in there. And I'm just gonna apply it to the rim with the finger, which is of course just been washed. I've literally just got out of the shower moments ago. Oh geez, that's horrible. It tastes like vomit. And then we're just gonna get that nice little coating all the way around. I mean, you only really need it on the side that you're gonna drink it from, but you know, it just looks better if it goes all the way around. It's good enough, right? Don't look, just look like a cup that's been up someone's ass. Right, oh shit, I ain't got the things now. It's my phone. Hang on two seconds. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your phone for like 10 minutes? In, can you open TikTok? Thanks, thank you. Right, I've sourced the second phone. <laughs> so what was it? All right, half an ounce of lime juice. Let's just do that one first since we've got it poured. Makes the most sense. So half an ounce of lime juice in there. An ounce and a half of mezcal. God, I hope this doesn't leak. If it does, I'm gonna be upset. All right, so that's an ounce, I would guess. And then a half is on the other side. All right, so that's the mezcal. 75 ounces of orange liqueur. How the fuck am I meant to measure that? All right, let's just do like three quarters of this if we can. Ooh, this one's a bit more syrupy. All right, that's about three quarters. One ounce of blood orange juice, which we don't have, so we're just gonna use some Tropicana Smooth, of course, because we don't, don't want no bits in this. Oh, the Amazon man is here delivering my new power supply. Oh yeah, by the way, in case, uh, in case I haven't made this completely obvious already, uh, so I bought these new lights, which uh, you can see here. Bought these new lights for the video, so you know, light the green screen properly and try harder, and I want to make another Kenshi vid, spoilers. And uh, <laughs> they come with these batteries, which is really cool. They also come with battery chargers, and I plugged two of them into the front of my PC when I went to pick up the dog, and then I came back and my PC was dead. And I think the power supply's dead, I've got a replacement one coming now, so hopefully it's that. Uh, if it is, you're going to see this video kind of soon. If not, oh dear. Anyway, off of that, uh, I don't really know how I can show you this. Hang on, let me just get close to the main cam. Yeah, you can see in there, it's still got all the seasoned chicks. I thought, oh yeah, that'll infuse more flavor. Uh, and now I realize that I'm going to have to somehow strain it out. So, let me get my strainer, which is not for this cup at all. And absolutely will not filter out the stuff that I need it to. Uh, it needs 75 ounces of this. Oh my god, so many seeds just went in. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of seeds in this. That's just the way that I make them. I like to have seeds in it. It gives it more organic taste. All right, I think that's everything. Let me just double check. He says it over crushed ice, but I don't have crushed ice. I have normal ice, so that's gonna have to do. And I know that crushed ice is like a different thing. So it's like, oh, well, when you use crushed ice, it kind of absorbs some of the flavor. Yeah, I know. I know, I should probably put the lids on some of these things. I'm just asking for like me to sweep this table out from under me and just make a massive mess. All right, now we are going to shake. So you do one of those, don't you? And then it's not meant to come off. I don't know how many shakes. I'm just gonna give it a good, like, about that many. Oh, that smells horrible. <laughs> it smells gross. Actually, I don't need to take the lid off because it comes out of the top. Oh my God, it's leaking everywhere and it's so sticky. Oh my God, I'm gonna get shot. Are you ready? Ready for this pour? Mine is nowhere near as red as his, but his had blood orange in. Let me just, hang on, just make this red in post. Wow, look how red that is for corn. And let me give it a taste. On the nose, there's a fucking corn fly in there. It's a corn fly. Like corn. Fuck. It actually smells pretty good. It smells, um, it's really hard to describe. I mean, the, the salt is also kind of, let me, let me get, it's kind of, hang on, let me get another one. It's like a really alcoholic lemonade. And it's got a lot of smokiness, which is great for corn, obviously. I mean, it's not lemonade, it's orange aid, you know, same thing. But yeah, it's got the smokiness for corn from the, um, I'm guessing the mezcal, the orange liqueur along with the orange uh, juice. I'm sure it'd be better with blood orange, could be more sour, more acidic. 
but it's like really refreshing and fruity and then the chili salt obviously gives you that bit of heat. The simple syrup, pretty good mixed in this. It's definitely got a hot flavor. It's, I've used jalapeno, so it's really like pepper smelling and tasting, but it's not bad. And then the lime juice obviously brings up the acidity. It's pretty good, honestly. I've, yeah, pretty good. What well, just keeps saying, it's pretty good. I'm gonna need to mop this floor because there is simple syrup everywhere. My hands are sticky, I'm sticky. But you know what? We made the drink and uh, it was pretty good. Big shout out to Bulbasaur Gel, help me out a lot with this. And by help me out, I mean making the video so that I could copy it uh, for the channel. We got together, we were like, yeah, let's make some warmer cocktails. And he was like, yeah, let's do corn. And then he made this. It's, uh, it's great, it's great, highly recommend it. If you wanna try it along at home, uh, do so. If you're of the drinking age, legal disclaimer out there for any of you lawyers. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, you know, we could do Slanesh. We've got great ideas for Nurgle and Slanesh. Seems a little bit rocky, but we could do all the one factions if you really want, baby. Just let me know in the comments by leaving a like and all that shit. If you want to see more videos on, uh, you know, general warm stuff, strategy games, as I said, Kenshi vid coming out soon. No, that was a big hit with you all. Then uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss that. You know, if you want to support the channel, YouTube memberships, Patreon, it's all that fun stuff. Get shout outs like Henry Tucker, Officer's Tear. He's a great guy, as are all the spores. Thanks a lot, guys. And, uh, you know, one more, one more thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one, folks. I'm a professional bartender now. I might quit this YouTube thing. I just become a mixologist. Where's the mop?